accusations were a move on the part of the government to take control of the city. Arias Luguago and another opposition leader, Kiza Bezegye, have been arrested a number of times over the past days. We are determined, we are going to continue to fight resiliently and nobody is going to deter us from this cause. Arias Luguago has been hospitalized for the past four days. According to his supporters, his poor health is the result of his multiple arrests. Meanwhile, Kampala is under tight surveillance. Well, time now to take a look at the weather report courtesy of the Central Forecast Office. source assures us of a continuous flow, and from there, everything follows. And for those of us who know what the River Gambia stands for, understanding its sustainability in all aspects of life is easily confirmed. The River Gambia provides nutritious delicacies as food, while it provides its wildlife a balanced ecosystem. This river, as a sanctuary, is committed to its inhabitants' needs without season, and as you travel along, all these values are replicated in one company, Elton. Just like the River Gambia leads in its commitment to values that matter most. Elton, championing the vision for a new generation. Good evening viewers and welcome to the weather segment. I'm your presenter Hadinja. A variable cloud in relative cool atmosphere prevailed during the early hours of the morning while the afternoon was warm and sunny. Satellite picture indicates convective activities over parts of Gulf of Guinea State, the central and southern parts of Africa. Tonight's forecast it will be variable cloudy in relative cool while the day tomorrow is expected to be warm and sunny in the afternoon. Northwesterly wind will dominate the flow across the country and the speed will be about 10 to 15 kilometers per hour. Morning temperatures will be 19 degrees over Greater Banjul and West Coast, 18 and 16 will be recorded over North Bank and Lower River regions respectively, while Central and Upper River will record 17 degrees Celsius. Afternoon temperatures will be 30 degrees over the Greater Banjul area, 32 over West Coast region, 34 over North Bank and Lower River regions, while Central and Upper River will record 36 degrees Celsius. Low a low tide of 0.6 meters is expected at 11.03 a.m. and 0.7 meters at 11.18 a.m. Whilst high tides will be 1.4 meters at 4.27 a.m. and 1.3 meters at 5.27 p.m. The sun will rise at 7.12 a.m. and will set at 18.33 in the evening. Thanks for watching and do have a pleasant evening. From the weather report, a quick reminder of the day's headlines. President Jame has relieved Nada Gray Johnson of his cabinet appointment as Minister of Information and Communication Infrastructure with immediate effect. The Vice President and Minister of Women's Affairs, Aja Dr. Estrinja Isaidi, has launched the State of the World's Population Report 2013. Riot police have engaged opposition protesters in running street battles in the wake of the sacking of Kampala's opposition mayor. And senior members of Congo's leading opposition party have threatened to withdraw from the National Assembly following the arrest of MLC politicians. Well, that's all in this edition of the news. Thank you very much for your time. Enjoy the rest of JRT's programs.
I think this is a very, very special occasion at the Kani Life Farms. We have never had uh, such donation. And today the guest is coming from one camera bar. He's a chef. I think he's doing this out of his own token just to support the Kani Life Farms. Um, he is now, we are going to have the official handing over first to Major C. De Balde. And now then, and then I will allow Kamara to say very, very few words. Okay, this is your package for you and your workers from Kamara Bar. Humanitarian gesture. This is the whole total was 200, 200 packs, but there is a work going on at Watna Beach, so we gave them 50. This is a balance of 150 packs for the workers at Kanilai under your dynamic leadership, Major Balde. Thank you. Very much. Thank you very much, Major. Thank you. Thank you. Um, as as you have just rightly mentioned. You know, you have many ways to support your own country. People give their life like soldiers to go for, you know, for wars. So I'm a chef. This is what I can do for my country. And uh, Canada Life Farm always go, like as a humanitarian, any, anything pertaining to humanity, humanity Canada Life Farm contributes to it. And I'm a humanitarian chef, so I find it is important for one to come and give that support, and it goes, life goes on. And I'm thanking the president for all what he's doing for his, for his country. Thank Major you. Balde, you are, the, you are the receiving end here. Um, thank you very much. I am very, very happy. Indeed, I will thank Mr. Kamara for this gesture. This is going to take a long way. This is the type of help that we need. Whatever you may do, you do it for your own self. You do it for your country, for your people, you're doing it for your own self. This, as we are standing today, it is really a very, very good gesture. This is going to the workers themselves, and then they will eat and continue work. That alone is a very, very good gesture. I will thank him very much on behalf of Canela Farms for this wonderful gesture that he had. And I'm encouraging all the Gambians to emulate Mr. Kamara. Exactly, and then it's going to the workers, and then exactly that's what we have here. If you look at the background, we have a whole lot of people behind me here, and we are standing in a very special place also. This is the reservoir. It has not been farmed for the past four years. And then I think Sidi Balde will get into that, and then the reason, and then what is happening here. Sidi, now to get to the, into the program proper, we are standing at a place that we have not farmed for, for some time now, and then you are trying to bring that, 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 that place back up to the usual format. Uh, I mean, what, 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 is, what, what is the brain behind it? What's the idea? Um, uh, thank you very much, Abdul. Um, uh, the only thing behind this is His Excellency the President. Mm -hmm. We all know him. Both dry and rainy season, he is talking of farming. Mm -hmm. And then this, as he is saying, is what he is demonstrating. Mm -hmm. And then as we are here today, we have already entered into the dry season. And then this farm you are seeing here, this rice field, this reservoir field you are seeing, is a big one. Mm -hmm. And then it is blessed with abundant water. So if it, as we are transplanting now, during the course of the dry season, you come here, we are going to continue harvesting. This is both dry and rainy season harvest. It's just a continuation of the rainy season cultivation. Mm. And then I think you have irrigation facility here? Very well indeed. We have, uh, as you are seeing behind me, we have these pipes, we have irrigation facilities, we have tabs and then uh, boot. Soon as we are ready, we will just open it within a day. Within 24 hours, this whole field is full with water. As you are seeing behind, already transplanted. And how big is the place?